That was a banger right there. That Thank was you. definitely a banger, man. This Thank is you. the Wing Wing Connection. And yeah. what you just heard there was Shaman, man. Yep. Sh- speaking of Shake. Shaman, Shaman's in the building right now. Straight yo, up yo, there. yo. And we are live on Facebook Live yeah, simultaneously. Live, Say what's we up? are live. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? That's We're quite Achilles right there. Tonight. Everybody introduce okay. themselves. It's happening. It's happening. Flip, Mr. right? Mr. Trip, Mr. Trip. 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 Yeah, it's good. It's good. That's Vez, man. Vez. 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 <laughs> no, no, we got a bunch of Boston going, heads going, in here. Oh, yeah. So, the, so oh, yeah. the room feels good, man. The vibe feels right. Go to OneConnectionRadio.com. Scroll down till you see the box. Press the button that says live. New England Connection. That's where we are right now. We're here. We live. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's man. get this started, this man. Happening, shit, man. What's up, man? What's happening, dude? Chilling, man. I was doing... uh. I was doing footage for a documentary today about, like, you know, different cultures, uh, uh, hip-hop or whatever, you know what I mean? I was mm-hmm. doing that at my house today, so we wrapped that up. I jump in the car, here I am, dropped a new song early this morning, my first recorded verse on Wax in, like, four years. Okay. It's been, like, a long journey back, man. Just went through some went through some stuff that music was my last thing on my mind, you know what I mean? Some real life stuff, you know it's what I'm real, saying? So, real life where you all started from though, Shaman? Like like where 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 it all started from? What what made you wanna do the hip hop thing? What made me wanna do thing? the hip hop thing? Well, this goes to show you how old I am, I guess, but when I was young I seen um Michael Jackson do the moonwalk on Moon Motown twenty five. Okay. You know? And I was like, I wanna do that. I want to learn that. <laughs> yeah. You know, so then shortly thereafter, it was like um, break dancing. You know what I mean? I grew up doing that. And then, like, after that, I seen this big boy band come out of Boston named New Kids on the Block, right? Okay. And I saw their level of success. You know what I mean? You wanted to like, match that. Yeah, and I was like, man, you know, because I was really socially awkward when I was a kid. Okay. You know, so it was like. You know, because I was like an awkward dink, I was like, oh, I looked at that whole thing with new kids or whatever, and I was like, yo, if I do that, that looks like the move, sing and get chicks. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Didn't want to do sing and get chicks. Boston, man. So that then, was the goal. Yeah, so then as I got deeper in, it became like an evolutionary thing where I was able to express myself more and talk more about different topics with hip-hop. But like I said, I had that hip-hop bass from Jump. Oh, okay. You know that's, I mean? that, that's what's up, man. I go back with it, like... You know, White Lines, Grandmaster Flash, Melly Mel, The Message, yeah. Rock the House, uh, Run DMC, uh, got some cool G Nucleus, G- Nucleus Jam on it. I'm talking way, way back. Yeah, right. nah, you're yeah. going back. You're going back to my era right now, man. <laughs> yeah. <It's laughs> I feel you, man. It's crazy. Yeah, so now it's, uh, I'm still at it. I stay, you know, at my advanced whatever age I am. You know what I mean? Like I'm still at it, and I'm still hungry to do it. You know. To me, hip hop has no age, man. Like, no, it doesn't. It's like, like a like, fountain like, of cool, youth. Cool G rap is in his late forties, and he just finished dropping an album not too long yeah, ago, cool at the beginning rap. of the summer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. to me, it, it, even with Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg getting up there where yeah. he's about to, you know, start calling himself the Godfather of rap. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like. Yeah. It has exactly. no age to me, so as long as you're able to spit your story over a beat, man, I always appreciate it, you know? Yeah, man, yeah, and, like, I got a lot to say now, man, but I'm not, you know, yep. um, I'm more of a dude that writes uh, more so from perspective than I am emotion, meaning, like, uh, I see a lot of dudes these days, um, They ju- it sounds like to sometimes they just put on a beat and they just, they're crying and whining and weeping, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, where it's like... You want to put your shit in... Like, sometimes people... You know, sometimes I feel like when I listen to people, they don't need a microphone. They need to go home and get a hug from daddy and start using hip-hop as some cheap fucking rebellion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Play the victim card. Right, right. You know, and... Because a lot of times, you know, they'll just be crying about their own problems on wax, but it's like, we got some ill shit going on right now, and maybe they ought to think about thinking of some problems bigger than their own. Like, for instance, like... Look at all the problems going on right now. What that rally they had in Boston today. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But like some of these white kids that are in the game right now, and look, I know I'm paler than a snowbank devoid of dog piss. I think. That's what I was gonna, that, that's what I was gonna let everybody know. Like are, yeah. are you are you Caucasian, black, like let, let everybody know uh, what you are though. Irish man. Irish, yeah. Southie all well, day. What? Listen to no. listen to listen to the day. Listen to the day. Yeah, you can say Southie all day, man. 
Yeah, but like, um, no, I, I'm not really like a Saudi boy. I wasn't raised over there, you know, but I respect the principles of some things that were there, you know what I mean? I respect not, that, uh, Not the negative stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, just some, I had uh, family members that grew up there and things yeah. like that that were far from racist or anything like that, and they were taught certain principles that they passed on to me, okay. you know, that are not so different than some of the some of the principles y'all have been taught when it comes to certain things, you know okay. what I mean? Okay, I respect that, man. But as far as the Irish thing, though, man, I take it more so now across the ocean, man. I've been like, um, I've been supporting the Irish hip-hop scene in Ireland for like... Oh, it's strong out there. 12, 12... 12 years now, man. So you're a big Slane fan then, right? Oh, I like Slane. He's from Boston, Okay, man. okay, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm Slane talking about... Boston, yeah, I'm just, Slane That's is... That's why you said Irish. Slane's so doing the Irish. Yeah, Slane is definitely yeah. one. But, I mean, we got artists over there, like this dude, Rob Kelly. He's probably, like, the most successful. Um, this other dude, Terrorist, that I work with, you know, that I worked with, and he's still doing his thing. I know this kid, Trigger who's out of court right now, and he just did an album called Double Perspective. Now, check this out for an Irish hip-hop artist, right? He had Tupac's crew, the outsiders, do a joint with him mm -hmm. nice. on his album. That's a huge boost for their movement right there. Absolutely. I so, respect that. Yeah, and somebody just turned me on to this kid. Uh, 16 years old. His name's Scripta, and this kid is a beast. 16? Beast. 16, chewing him up? Irish rapper, man. Oh, I'm gonna have to no, that's account. good. You There's know, the whole movement. S K R I P T E H. Scripta. And he's from a crew called Flow State Movement. You guys remember, like, when um, this is before Prodigy died, they did the Mob Deep Challenge. Okay. On, online. Yes, we I remember spit, that. I remember spit that. Bars over there, beat. Well, there was yep. this dude over there named uh, Red the Future who did the same thing. But he used his own beat and kind of sent it out for every week. So you had all kids from every corner of Ireland spitting bars and stuff. And, you know, I still plan on doing it. I've just been busy and occupied, always working and stuff. So I still plan on doing it. But that became wildly successful in the sense that they were pushing their scene before the world. And I was getting to see, like, all these new cats that are doing it. Or I've done shows over there. But as far as, you know, as far as hair is concerned, you know... We talked about the white white boy factor that you know shit is so hot right now. People need to stop be like crying on their tracks. They need to be like you know. They, in other words, they don't want to. They don't want to. Uh, they don't want to stand up for issues that affect hip hop culture. They don't want to st stand up for issues that affect you know the community where hip hop comes from, so they can so called claim it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because if it does get too hot in the hip hop kitchen. They bitch up, switch up, and go right back to their white privilege words. But I respect that. I, I respect that, my dude. But I, I, like, 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 I'm just, I'm just like, soaking it as in, like, you, as yourself, where do you stand that in the hip hop community, though? Just a, just a cultural participant, man. I mean, it's, I respect it's, that. It goes, it goes, like in every sense of the word. This ain't music. This ain't, this ain't just music. This ain't just, um, whatever. You know what I mean? Like you, 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 you gotta eat, shit, breathe, piss, food shop, whatever this shit. You know what I mean? It's a culture, ladies and gentlemen, out there. It absolutely is. If you think it's about picking up a microphone and pushing your pussy, pushy little raps through a microphone, man, you need to get, you need to think the fuck again and learn yourself a little something. Like they call that, you know, like what's out there now? Trap music, not bashing anybody who I was just about to go into that. You know a lot of people look for the easy way out, you know like what? an example of trap music. Well, trap, music yeah, no. trap music is like, we are, it's a perfect name because hip hop as a, as a whole is stuck in a trap. It's stuck, you know what I mean? But. You really think so? Like yeah, yeah. hip hop is stuck in a trap, like just well, in I mean, general as a whole? I'm saying like. Uh, coming, um, from, coming from your perspective though. Yeah, but like the thing is, is like. Here's where the trap lies, and this is what I've come to see, like, hip-hop as we know it, you know, I feel like the corporate people took what we treasure, the corporate pi pirates, the corporate pirates took what we treasure, yep. all right, then they found a way to corner it, corner the market, Okay. and then they, when, once they cornered it, they took the ownership of it, and when they took ownership of it, they it, like uh, you guys ever see that real Slim Shady video back in the day? And he's like, uh, he's like, I'm Slim Shady or something. The real yeah, 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 yeah. And, they, and they show him coming off a conveyor belt. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's kind of like what 
hip hop is to me right now in the mainstream. It's all like coming off a. Of comp- it's not the industry anymore to me. It's it's all industry. All uh, you know. I get what you're I respect that. I get what you're saying. You know. I respect that like though. Bland like like a brand like Pepsi and Coke. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it, here is trap. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like you you want to anything? You go in a label and you rap about. Let's just say you rap about cows. And electric fences, right? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Hey, shit. Know, know, hey, shit. Hey, shit. We go. We go. We go a little further up in New Hampshire, and we, we may hear some rhymes right, about right, that. Right. No diss in New Hampshire. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> like, but the thing is, is like, if you go into these corporate offices with this shit, and you rap about what you rap about, and you don't, but you don't rap about what they want you to rap about, they just be like, yo, get the fuck out of my office. Do you know what I mean? Get the fuck out of my office. But that's that's a lot of. Corporate industry, you I mean, know, it's like over, yeah. they'll bring you in the office and be like, "Hey, you're a rapper. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're a rapper. Yeah. Do me a favor. You know what rap about, about what I want rap about 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 you to rap about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you know they're gonna be like, you know, the subject here is you know candy. You know, there's different kinds of candy. Let's talk about candy. The cat's gonna go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna yeah. spit some shit about some candy. You know what I'm saying? Right, you know, right. some si- similes, metaphors, but. But they want either pot. But the powers that be love this shit too because they want us dumb. Yeah, the, they don't the, want I, us to be woke. Right that's now. what I'm saying. I feel yeah. like the powers that be control the traffic of what people are rapping about. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a lot of people aren't doing conscious rap anymore because it's a lot easier to make millions off of rapping that trap music and all yeah, rapping yeah, about yeah, yeah. swinging something. Right. Gang but I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you though, bro. Like trap music, that that's what hap- That's what's trap up right now. No, no, I know. I didn't say. I'm not saying nothing against it. I, oh I, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, no. Nobody who chooses, you know, I have a living, no, let live mentality. Yeah, you, no, Absolutely, you, though. You know? I, like, I mean, like a di- di- like in other words, what's not there, right? And I don't want to sound dated or dusted when I say this. Is like when I was young, if you didn't have Tribe Called Quest, you had NWA. You didn't like NWA, you had Hammer. You didn't like Hammer, you had EPMD. You didn't like EP. That balance is gone. I Everybody talks that about, right oh, there. We gotta, man. we gotta bring hip hop back. We gotta take Fucking it back. Today, we man. can't take. The only thing we gotta take back is ownership. The Absolutely. Way we, the way we take back ownership is we, you know, you're not gonna meet, you're not gonna beat them straight up because it took years for the, the straight up that is them to get the way it is. You gotta, you've gotta beat them at their own game. You know what I mean? Don't play their game. Change the rules. Don't ask me how. That's up for us to and, and us to figure out. It's gonna Everybody it started, do their own thing yeah, to figure it out. It started in the community and it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna die in the community. Now we not we need to start letting them dictate what's in the fucking community. You know what I mean? This shit is ours. Don't let them motherfuckers think and tell you any different. You know what I mean? I mean that's just the way I look at it's it. Real shit. You know? yeah. I respect that right there, man. Yeah. Yes, one guy. I'm sorry. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook yeah. Facebook Live. OneConnectionRadio.com. You don't have to just watch it here. Then you got to do the um. OneConnectionRadio.com. You can call in too. You can call in. Yo, what's the number? Six. Call in three two three two two three two four eight six eight. Again, absolutely. Again, we're gonna do this like a telethon here. Six zero three two three two four eight. Six eight. Absolutely. Give a free donation to one con- one connection radio <laughs> fund, the shaman fund, and whoever else you want to have fun with. Yo, dial that phone and call up. You're all over the fucking so. map. Now, pre- now come in, present and accounted for. Call in, man. Please present. We want to talk. Especially if you're a new shit is a artist, trip. Promoter, Literally, club promoter, whatever the case may be. Yeah. As long as you're new England, period. I got people. You don't even have to be everywhere. new England, period, man. I got someone in. I got someone in Indonesia. Anything. Right? Indo- anything. Uh, Indonesia listening right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh shout out to my friend Indonesia. Deborah Palma. Oh, big shouts out to Indonesia, man. Definitely. Indonesia. <laughs> Deborah Palma. She's Definitely, my evil man. twin. She's crazy. Just like big me, shouts man. out, man. Yeah. All right. Um, I see Megan on your. Uh, she's on your live feed. She yep. asked for the number again. It's six zero three. Yep. Two three two. Four eight six eight. Quiet, so okay. Six zero three yep. two three two four eight six eight. Call in one connection radio. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> steal that. That's, the, that's, our, that's our new jingle. <laughs> that's all you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. I'll do whatever drop you right want. There. Go right there. Get your ass off of Facebook. One connection, one connection radio. 
What Connection Radio dot com. That's the number one. One Connection Radio, man. One Connection Radio. One Connection Radio. One Connection. One Connection. Goddamn Radio, man. Connection. We're gonna do all this shit all day, all night, everything. One Connection, man. It's just uh, it's just replaying. That way, if it's there, they watch it. Oh yeah, the yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But hopefully, they caught us now. You're on One Connection Radio. We're about to be the next yeah, and, and, and you jump now. in the chat Especially too. Especially the New England Connection, man. Like I said, man, I'm gonna play everybody on my back, and I'm gonna make a, a great attempt to carry. Didn't everybody somebody talk, just man? say the, the the beat makes the rapper beat don't make the rapper? Didn't one just say right. that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just reading it. It's the same person. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, All right, Teddy Rock. Yeah, right, I believe okay. the rapper makes right. the beat, but. All right. Beat don't make the rapper. Shout out to Teddy exactly. Roxbury, man. Exactly. If you're listening in for a second, yeah. if you are, yo, right shout there. out to you. Right there. Explain right it. Tell us what you, what's, what's going on with Triumph. Track Triumph, right? I just dropped this this morning. It's with this dude from Dublin named uh, Skin T. Okay. Uh, his real name is Nigel Gleason. He put out a mixtape for the upcoming McGregor and uh, Mayweather fight. All right. So it's resolving around that. He's a kid from Dublin. So, you know we uh, gonna we gonna yeah. talk about that too, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah I'm, Anyways, I'm, nah, cause I'm with you. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah, I feel you. you. Want, you I'm shows. with you. Them two are a sports show, but he's I'm a, with you. We are sports too, man. We are sports too, man. Hey, 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 that's another thing. That's another thing. You can win tickets. Call seven. You already know we got the grill and splash party on the 26th of August at um, Glenn Murray's house, ex uh, Red Sox. And it's gonna be it's gonna be something else. Food, drink, and That's right. the fight. And the fight. So That's right. Yeah. Six oh three two three two four eight six eight. Right. You right. can win some tickets, man. You can win some you can tickets. go to the um splash party, man. Yo, why is these phones quiet, man? Y'all should be calling in. Y'all no, ask oh, you should invest it. Sound like there was a phone ringing in the distance here, man. Get no, nah, it wasn't here. mine though, but I didn't ask you, know. you if it was your phone. <laughs> well, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and jump right into try it. It sounded like there was a phone ringing for a second. Yeah. So I thought it was like, hold up a second. Yeah. Like, we'll get somebody. Somebody, somebody will be. Somebody will be a brave soul. Somebody will be. See, I told you. It was I thought. I knew. I heard that. <laughs> somebody will be a brave soul. Six zero three two three two four eight six eight. Oh yeah, it's a brave soul. One we'll connection radio, man. <laughs> yeah. You can come to the splash party. Come to the splash party. Splash party. Jump in the pool. I look forward to that this splash shit party. Is cool. Wendy's, man. Yeah, really splash party, man. I really yeah. do, man. I hope he's listening in too, man. We gonna we Wendy's we gonna be in two different in areas, man. Yeah. Splash party. Splash party's yeah. gonna be the whole. We are sports. We are sports. Make you sure y'all call in. In general, because Glenn Davis is from New England as well, and he does music. He he works for Rough Rider. Yo, who's so, this? Who's this? What has got me into the Irish hip hop? Um, well, I think the obvious answer would be when I was young, I heard "Jump Around" by House of Pain. I remember Ooh, being, in, Pain. I remember being at someone's house, and I was watching Yo MTV raps, and I saw that come on. Like I saw the video come on. This is before it became ridiculously popular, and I heard that come on, and then I was just like, you know, I was like with, with the TV, I'm like clicking it, like, do I have the right channel here? Because I'm seeing this Irish parade, you know what I mean? And all this people marching with kilts on and all this other stuff. Then seeing the guys rap and stuff like that. But uh, the real affinity came probably in 2005 I got on, when I got on MySpace. I even sound dusty and dated saying that. <laughs> you know. But when I got on MySpace, MySpace. you know, <laughs> I just decided one day to see if there was like actual hip-hop in Ireland. And it kind of began from there, you know. And, you know, so I've been definitely, um, definitely, you know, been at it ever since, you know what I mean? And promoting their scene and, you know, because um, I believe like there's a lot of Irish people in this country who talk about how Irish they are, but yet they don't do dick for Ireland. So basically, a lot of people here, I say, are like culturally numb and dead from the neck up, you know, because they don't really know what this shit is about and how to represent it properly and correctly. Cause, like, for instance, like... Given the shit that the Irish have been through, it's like a, a, a racist Irish person makes no friggin' sense to me at all that lives on this side of the pond. Because if they really understood their culture and their history, they would see we have, this, we have the same type of synergy with, with black culture. But the way we get out of that, though, was the way the Irish get out of that 
is that basically they looked at the color of their skin and then started acting like the guy that oppresses them and then, you know, then everything, then all the oppression stopped from there. But racist Irish people make no sense to me given the history being so, you know, having so much synergy. So I always like this. You want to talk how Irish you are, do something for Ireland or shut the fuck up. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> who's that? Uh, who's it? Who's this calling? By the way, uh, this is Megan McDonald. Hey, oh! <laughs> 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 what's, what's happening, Megan? How you doing? All right. So we got one brave soul. We got one brave soul. How you doing, Megan? How you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm yeah, pretty Megan, good. you're talking to Flip right now. Let me now. tell you something. I've known Trip, Trip for a Trip, long time, right. and his music is the real shit. Okay. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> His music is the best, and he's bringing it back, and I'm proud of that. So. Thank you. Nice. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Megan, you at OneConnection.com, Megan? Megan, I thank you. OneConnectionRadio.com. You at OneConnectionRadio.com, Megan? She's calling from Middleborough, Mass. You still in Middleborough? Yep. Middleborough? Yep, Middleborough. Yep. All right. Cool. Megan, we're going to let you go, see if anybody else calls right, right, in, all right? right. We're actually going to go to Triumph from right now. We're going to go to Triumph right now. Let me just talk like a couple of seconds about that. Go ahead. Now, this is really going to, like, probably some of you out there, probably some in this room is going to have a real different vibe, right? Okay. This this will probably, like, you, you guys remember that um, tune, The Whole World by Outkast? When the whole... Mm -hmm. what, and the bounce? Yeah! That has, Yo, what was this has, shit? This has, the same, this has the same type of pace to it. Okay. It's a lot more laid back, but, like... Lyrically and fast. like this shit has like a real stroll to it. Real, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, it has a stroll, fast, stroll to it. And I, to me, it's like the prequel to uh, Pharrell's Happy. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because Ooh, like Pharrell, right Pharrell's Happy makes it sound so simplistic. But if you're going through the struggle and through the shit, when you go through things and you get on the other side of that fear, that doubt, that insecurity, if you're struggling like I have and many others do, there's the happiness. So this kind of absolutely kinda right here. So on that. Skin Here we go to shame, man. Shame and triumph. Go. The station with the best, 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 best music. Best music. I love the music. Best music. You're tuned into One Connection Radio. Dot com. <laughs> are such a part of me All them times I fell to knees Got hit by fears and doubts and pain All these things I could not face The downpour came and hard it rained I prayed my luck would start to change And when I nearly gave up Something hit I began to wake up People talking, people say stuff Some will love and some will hate it So I soldiered on Through the trenches, mud and dirt Fought through hardship, strife and tears Battles lost, the years of hurt Now I stand a new man Fighting fear that lies with in me chasing dreams, that's the plan Living life until it kills me People always talk
Probably different than what you're used to. What's happening? What's happening? What's up? Shaman, tell me a little bit about that track there, man. I like I said, yeah, I like it. It was smooth. It's mad different. It's mad different. Like my my brother approached me about it. You know what I mean? And and uh, he just approached me about doing that track. And like I said, you know, like I said, it kind of reminded me. Uh, you know, it's like the like the prequel be like what you have to go through to get to that place Pharrell sings about and happy. You know what I mean? So <laughs> So yeah, but I mean like uh, like I said, someone pointed me out today that, that they could hear like outcast rapping over that too. No, it I, reminds me of that shit, joint the whole world. Him, right? That's why I was like, yeah, yo, we we got somebody on the line right now. Hold on. Well, yeah, we got somebody on the line right now, man. Who's on? Go ahead. <laughs> Are you there? You're on One Connection Radio. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Where are you calling from? Where are you calling from? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. You calling from uh, Florida? You got, you, are you on the speakerphone? No. Okay. Oh, now I can hear you. What's up? Who is this? Uh, All right. Who is it? Is this uh, Betsy? Hey, what's going on? What's your question for uh, the man who gave you the nickname Doth Batsada? <laughs> <laughs> what's your question? So connection's bad. Hey, Doth, can you do me a favor? Like this connection's really bad. Just call back. Try calling back, and we'll we'll take your call again. All right? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Right there, right hold there. Oh, hold up. Maybe right there, that. right there. All right, try now. You hear? Yeah. Okay, now I can hear you. All right. What's what's going on with my future music? Well, right here, right now, um, you know, this was like just the beginning. I got another collaboration I'm going to knock out on Monday. I did footage for a documentary today. Um, I just got, I, I just became an artist with Underground Records, which was just basically a consummation after 15 years of working with the, those guys. I run their social media now, and I am now being managed by Scott Ross from none other than Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Nice. Yeah, so that's what's going on right now. What else? Any other questions? What's that? I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate, I appreciate it. it too. Betsy, you know how much I love you. I I'll talk to you soon, support. okay? We appreciate the support, especially here at OneConnectionRadio.com. Yo, anybody listening out there, follow Betsy's and Megan's lead. 603-232-4868. Call in. Don't be shy. Or you could just leave a comment at oneconnectionradio.com. Yes. Well, we have a live stream going on. Leave a comment. You know, leave a comment. Say what you have to say. You know, it pops up. We can see it. We'll respond to you right away. That's right. Such and such. All right. This is what we do. We interact with the New England people, the New England artists, the New England promoters. You know what I'm saying? New England club. Everything New England. That's what I'm all about. Right, you know what I'm saying. Well, you know what? You just you just transcended New England, bro. You wanna know why? Because I just had a I just had a song with a cat from Dublin, Ireland, on the track with me. But I'm from New England. But that's but that's gravy. That's but that's you, gravy. But though. you see what I'm saying? See that's how that gravy. works? You know we go saying? we go he, outside the line. He did some music with a New England artist, so exactly. it still gets him that exactly. promotion. Still, you know, we still gonna listen to him spit his bars. That's we it. still gonna. And he did. Yeah. Oh yeah. He did, man. Okay, okay. He on he, that. Yeah, man. I I support. Everybody, I know you do. I know you do. I'm one of those people who support everybody, but I like. I feel like with New England, we have yeah, a we stronger it. team yeah. because it's not just one state. We're not just talking about New Hampshire. We're not just talking about Massachusetts. We're yeah. talking about all six states in New England as a whole. That's six right. states right. out of fifty. Right. We team up as a whole. We get together. We spit these bars. We do these ciphers. We do these albums. You know, we do these compilations with a bunch of New England artists. And yeah, we, yeah. This is what we do. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But you would think with those six states. Right. We, 
be able to get a better bun. You know what I'm saying? Right. And there's yeah, a no lot doubt. of there's a lot of talent out here, such as yourself. You Thank know, you. Thank Big you. Kurt, Lingwater, Providence. Yep. You know, shout out. Yep. Lost Vidal out of Lawrence. Shout out. You know, there's a lot of cats out here that's got a lot of talent. And if, they, if we took, like, five minutes to really sit down together yeah. and really, you know, like, discuss this, like, yo, this is all of us. Like, this is the team. Right. Regardless if you want to see it that way or not, this is the people who represent New England. That's right. And we are doing this together. So right. So we really made it a point to get together as we do recording our music or as yeah, we yeah. do promoting where we eat. Yeah. Every day, yep. or promoting where yep. we go to have our beverages, our man beverages, as I like to call them, aka uh, alcohol. Uh, uh, I call them man beverages. But where we go have our man beverages, shout out to the Pericles, by the way, 123 Spruce Street, Manchester, New Hampshire. Here we go. If we did that, I feel like New England as a whole, we would succeed. We'd succeed a lot hard. We'd do a lot better than the South. You see the, the way the South sticks together. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, those yeah. guys, like, as long as you're from the South, those guys are listening to it. Even if they don't like your song, they're going to listen to it from start to end. Yeah. And they're going to give you some feedback. You That's know what I'm right. saying? They yeah, give you yeah. the all-around feedback. And yeah. I feel like... Well, I'm here because... I'm here yeah. because Choir Achilles and me met an event. I, I haven't seen Dude in years, but we still yeah. stay in touch and... You know, we did like a show together, and it was all love all the way around. Staying you know connected, I mean? and that's how, living. and that's how we're we're here in this all here in the same room together. So you're right. You know what I mean? It's like, um, I just think a big problem is like, you know, the jealousy and the hate, man. The jealousy yeah, this, and the hate this, this amongst these. Is that happening in your town though? Like, like. Just the jealousy and hate, is that happening in your town? Well, I mean, that's a reputation Boston's had, and I'm not going to bash Boston because I am from Boston, but well, I'm not, say, I'm be, not saying I'm not saying anything about that where isn't known. Yeah, just, 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 just like keep it 100, though. Hate. Like, it's, it's coming guys, from your gotta, town, though. We got, I'm from Boston, too, man, so we got to put a lot more energy everywhere, in pushing everywhere our in people, England, yeah. you know? Absolutely. Yeah, like we got to push our people. Like, I'm yeah. not going to talk about what we're doing wrong. Let me tell you what we can do right. Exactly. Instead of, you know... Oh, fuck this person. He's rapping from Boston. He ain't me. He ain't my team. You know, yeah, so yeah. fuck him. Like, yeah. no, that's not the case. Yeah. That's not the case here, man. Like, even if you were just, like, with somebody that you, you know, don't... Well, there's power in numbers, know. man. There's power in numbers. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, you, absolutely. Like, yeah, absolutely. Oh, you believe in that, though, bro. You know like, yeah. power, power in numbers? You yeah. believe in that? It's yeah, the absolutely. truth, though, man. Okay. Absolutely. That's the truth, man. Okay. But, I mean, I those, numbers, that. Like, those, oh. numbers aren't, those numbers aren't going to mean anything unless people are like-minded. Or if they're not like-minded, they find a way to constructively and progressively... You know, move things, keep it forward, and find a w- keep it moving, but yet you know, respect enough to agree to disagree. But yeah, find, find enough time to place in the middle somewhere. Doing, but if they if, if they ain't feeling what you're doing, then they you want their cup of tea. And the funny thing is, it's just like that's where my live and let live <laughs> mentality comes. No, nah, but the only thing I ask of you, like shaming, mm-hmm. like like mm-hmm. like real talk, like just keep it a hundred, like yep. you know, like where you know, like where you start, like where you. Appreciated rap from like just where you where you appreciated that from though. What do you mean? Like, can you clarify a little bit? Like, I think he's sorry. Asking, I like, know. where where were you? Like, what city did you live in when you learned to appreciate? Oh, hit man, definitely Boston, definitely Boston. But I mean, it's Same here, city, you know? city, but but Boston's. I mean, Boston's not an easy city to make it in general. That's what I'm you know saying. What I mean? Boston's like, a very strong hip hop cultured city. Right, but at but the same time, the critics it. are really, really tough. Like it right. takes a lot to really right. draw on a crowd. You know, like you could be right, performing right. in front of a, a hundred people, and they're gonna stand you with crossed arms like this, staring you in your eye, like what you got to say. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Well, the other thing is though too, um, is like when I started, which was old, quite a while ago. Mm-hmm. You know, like I got three responses. I was telling, I was talking about this in that documentary today. I said I got three responses when I started. I got booed, I got no reaction, or I got cheered when they felt sorry for me because they saw how hard I was working. But I never, I never quit. You know what I mean? I never quit. I never gave up. I never made excuses. I kept coming. And I I dug deep. I dug deep, you know, went harder to go further. You know what I mean? And here I sit. Let me ask you a question, Shaman. This is just coming from, like, the way that I feel about the hip hop genre itself, especially coming out of Boston. Right. Do you feel like 
Boston hip hop fans, like the fans that come and watch us perform and such and yeah, such. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like they appreciate their own artists when another city appreciates them? Like, for example, like if I was rapping, you know, and you know, Boston artists, you know, like we was just talking about, was just kind of like hard on me, like, hey, what you got to spit, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and such and such. And then I go down to like, let's say Atlanta to mm-hmm. perform. And Atlanta's feeling me, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, right, he's, right, right. he's hot, you know, tripped right, hot. Right, right. He's really spitting some bars. Do you feel like a lot of Boston fans appreciate their artists more when another city appreciates them? Um, you know, uh, uh, like, um, it's a tricky subject. You know what I mean? It's 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 just a matter of like uh, a lot of times, you know, it boils down to the quality of your work. You know what I mean? That will lift you up. You know what I mean? No matter where you live, it's the quality of your work. And there's so mm-hmm. many, there's so many legends in Boston. You know, like Ed O.G., Slain, uh, Jason, um, Guru, so many, yeah, Guru, yeah, Guru from Ga- Guru from Gangsta. You already know you gotta do um, Man Terror, Big man. Sure. man Terror, too, man, man. Terror. Shout out to Man Terror if man you're listening. Terror, you know, there's so many Jimmy yeah, Jimmy Marsh. You know, like Jimmy Marsh, yeah, Quiet yeah, is yeah, Achilles yeah, too, Jimmy. man. Big no, shout out, Marsh. big shout, big Dana, shout out to Quiet, man. You know, you know, man. Terry does, you know, what I'm saying, he, uh, yeah, he does a walk with the Boston every Sunday. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. He's brought in Ed O G. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? He's, yeah. He's, yeah. Everybody in our city is nice, man. Everybody in our city is nice, man. Yeah. I respect a lot. Sometimes of them. just the crowds can be tough. You yeah, know that's what I, mean? what I, I respect a lot. And of we Boston can be, artists. you know, and we can be tough on each other. But I don't think it's any different. That's than, what I wish a lot of any Boston. other city. You know what I mean? But there is that reputation, of, you know, hate and jealousy. You know what I mean? And you know, I mean, that's just something that it, you know. I'm not saying anything that anybody out there doesn't already know. You know what I mean? We have the manpower to reach out to each other as well. Right. As right. far as Boston people go, like we yeah. have enough people to reach out to. I wish, I re- if you, if anybody from Boston hears me, I really wish that a lot of the Boston artists would invest in reaching out to another fellow Boston artist. Because Boston's not a small city at all. Yeah. Like we could really be like big up there, you know, like Los Angeles. We could be big up there, like New York. We could be big up there, like Atlanta, yep. Houston, yep. Las Vegas. Boston can be one of those cities right, that's right, recognized, you right. know, Chicago, right. all of that. Right. But it's, it's, it's going to take a lot of Boston artists. We got, you know, and I'm going to be as real as I can for a second. It's going to take a lot of Boston artists to stop dick riding themselves for just two seconds and just be like, yo, I wonder what's going on around me. You know what I'm saying? Not, yeah, to, just, yeah. not to just say, you know, like, oh, I feel like somebody's better than me or I'm better than somebody, but yeah, I know I'm doing good. You know, I got the right. confidence, like, my music's right. popping. But what else is going on around me? Like, well, I want to listen to some music. That, man. You know? I want to listen to some music around me. Like, who well, else is doing Six zero three two three two four eight six eight. Absolutely. And you know what's crazy though is like, let's take Ed O.G. and the Bulldogs for uh, for a minute around here. Like Ed O.G. is like a Boston pioneer. Um, Almighty RSO was one of my favorites when I was a kid. You know, yeah. Guru from Gangsta. But let's take Ed O.G. for a minute. Like, okay. I met this kid. I met this kid from. Belfast in the north of Ireland, right? Okay. And his name's Nathan Ross. He's got to be all of but like 19 years old, and he's he's a budding producer. Like okay. his beats are nice, but he's got to learn the concept that samples will get you in a lot of trouble these days. You know what I mean? Not saying don't use them, but no. But as long as he, as long as that music's good, like no, no know, one really care about like them the, samples. Though. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the samples are. Costly. Samples is everything. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's it's cost, costly. like you said. That. It's costly these days. And look at that thing that just happened with the whole Robin Thicke can. You know, I mean, they didn't sample nothing. They just re- replayed everything. And I like Robin Thicke. Absolutely. And the Robin, Robin Gay Thicke's family. Dope. You know. Yeah. I mean, but it, let's be. Let's call. You know. Let's call something. Something being something. You know what I mean? Meaning like, I heard that record for the first time, and I'm like, you know, I'm listening. I think. Hot 97 in Boston, or Hot 96.9, and I'm like sitting there listening, and I'm going, what has got to give it up doing on, you know, on this radio station? You know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, if you can't see what I'm trying to say, you know, I'm like, what is he doing on this Marvin Gaye record? You know what I mean? So... I, you know, I, I thought the track was cool, but I, you know, I, I thought it was a straight bite as far as the track was concerned. Like, it did sound yeah. like I got to give it up by Marvin Gaye. You know, but every producer's been freaking out ever since when it comes to that. Like, even making the song, even if you're producing it yourself, you make it sound like that much like it. You know, like every producer's like, 
freaking out, overthinking things, you know, things like that. But, you know, but yeah, I mean, but like, let's take, let's go back to this kid, Nathan Ross, you know, Mm -hmm. I, I call him a prodigy, you know, because of what he, not what he does, what he knows is going to make him good and potentially great. Because I'm sitting there chopping, and like, it'll be a young kid who'll come up to me and want to talk hip hop, and uh, and he'll be like, you know, oh, you know, you know, uh, young whoever, you know what I mean? And I'm like, ah, kid, go to your room, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, anyways, this kid, you know, this kid, I started talking to him, and I thought he was just gonna be, but I thought he was just gonna be some stiff dick little kid that that thought he knows everything, but he was sitting there going. Yeah, there's this one group, Ed O.G. and the Bulldogs. They had this song, that song, and I was like, I was like, I know those dudes. You yeah. know what I mean? And before you knew it, I had them in touch with DJ Cruz, Ed O, and, and this other dude, Eric Wright, um, that that was in in the Bulldogs with them. You know what I mean? So it was crazy. It was crazy. So, so I mean that you know, like that's amazing right there. And what we do is Boston artists. You know what I'm saying? But so just as know. yourself, like just yeah. a Boston artist as yourself, like. Right. Where where do you rank yourself at? Like, just the top five artists. Where do you rank yourself at? Top Me? five? I mean, but, hold on. Before you answer, as that, an artist, where Boston's the big city for you to say like, like top five. And I'm going top five. Okay, okay. Because I could tell you my top five. I could I could tell you my top five Boston artists. Okay. Go ahead, best. Talk I can tell you my top ahead, five. Talk, ahead, your top I'm gonna five. keep it a hundred with you. Where you want me to go from the bottom to the top or the you top go to Boston the bottom? Period, best. You open your mouth. What's up? Okay. <laughs> so what I'm so what I'm gonna tell you is, listen. Yep. Honestly, my top one, Man Terror. Okay. You say top one. Man Terror. That's my Man-Terra. top one. Man Terror. You heard here top first. Five. And How you only uh, one? Can I? Can I? Can, yeah. Going down the list. You yeah. asked me. I, that's what I was asking I you. If you wanted me to go for. Him. Him. So I'm going top one. Man Terror. Two. Two. Ello. My nigga Ello. Okay. All I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. My top five is all project niggas, man. It's all project yeah, yeah. niggas, man. Yeah. Like Ello. Yeah. Then we go with Ease Dollars. Okay. And then after Ease Dollars, we're going to go with Trapper B. Who. Okay. And that's three. All right. So I got Where's two. Then I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> so, so everybody, every, uh, all that, that's good right there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good yeah. Boston music right there. Right, like that, right. that, that brings everything out of Boston right there, man. Right, right, right. I don't really have a top five. I just, I like everybody for, for different reasons, man. I just let them be who they are, whatever they are, and what they do. I, just yeah, no, I show everybody love. Like, I show everybody exactly. love. Exactly. Especially from Boston. Like I show everybody from New England love, but Boston is really where I'm doing my homework. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm really investing my time. Call in me a homer, man. Who you, who you are? <laughs> then, you know who you are and what it is you do. You know I call that saying? loyalty, not a homer. So a call lot of Boston homer, artists man. get more more burn than what I would normally do. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it, Oh man, this this just so many artists out in that's Boston. Right. That's right. That I, you know, I wish I got a chance to shake their hand and be like, you yeah. know, I'm such a Mr. Yeah. Jerry Trump. Remy. It's call me a homer, man. Home, but <laughs> call me a homer, man. I'm all homer, man. I'm a homer. I am a homer. Homer a Simpson. Homer. Call it that. <laughs> so, all right. What else? What else? Do you- Ooh, what do you have coming up in the future? I guess this is the next question. What, what do you have, have coming up in the future? Yeah, um, man. Like, is there anything you're I'm working basically, on? I'm just basically back to basics right now. You know what I mean? And like starting over. Okay. You know what I mean? So, That's cool. Um, you're still doing it, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, That's like I said, matters. I, well, we respect that, though. I, I but, went but, through but, some life on life's term stuff. You know what I mean? Um, what you uh, got coming out? Right, now I, right I, now, like I said, I did Triumph. You know what I mean? That was step one. I got another um I got another come another track coming out with this cat named Shambles who's from uh Donegal in Ireland, right? And and it's called That Lady and that shit is going to be hot, you know. But I mean these are just cuz a lot of times if you guys remember like when Nicki Minaj was coming up and this that and the third, they they were on everybody's shit, you know what I mean? They were spitting verses on everybody's shit to get their name up. I respect get it up that. And get it out. So yep. it's like I'm so, so as much as this, I'm jumping on their tracks and them showing their faith in me and showing love in me to do it. They gotta but I'm jump also, on your tracks too. But I'm also 
trying to get my self esteem and my confidence back, which I lost in every aspect of my life. Not to sound weepy, I'm just keeping it fucking real. That's how it happened. You've been real the whole show, man. What happened? What happened to to bring you that to that route, though? Well, you know, I had um, I had some mental health issues. You know, like yeah. it happens to the yeah, best of us. Like yeah, it happens. And, it happens. You know, all the meds. I had two hospitalizations in 2011, 2014. No shame. Lift the stigma of mental health. Um, I lost uh, uh, my my relationship with my ex. Broke up. You know, which equaled my kids moving down the street. Not to get all personal, but um, but also you know, right around that time, uh, I lost someone dear to me. Uh, from heroin, you know what okay. I mean, and that's like a big, big thing these days, man. It's yeah, like especially Trump, up here in New know? Hampshire, that's a big thing right you now, know? man. And I've been, uh, I've been, um, I've been in recovery for al- from alcohol for I haven't touched a drop of alcohol in sixteen years, and I've been in AA for seven. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. keep it a buck with you. We sitting here drinking in your yeah, face, nah, you know, like that's cool. Like, <laughs> that's cool. I, I even, yo, I even worry. Now. You think this yeah. is bad? I, you know, wait. The, I, if it was to ever be bad for me per se, which it isn't, you know, I again, I let people be whoever and whatever they are. You know, oh, you don't like me, cool, go stand in line. I ain't got time for this shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Fact, fact. That's how you, you know. Absolutely. At, live and let live is my, because you know what, a- everything. You know, I learned so much from AAA on calming the fuck down. You know, like in other words, hey, Trip, if you just sat here and you punched me, right? You know, yeah. and just was like, boom, right? Now if I sat there. And I just punch you back. We'll just keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. And you know what? Um, eventually, someone may lose. Someone may win. But the thing is, is like if if one of us isn't going down, you just get tied. Yeah. So the absolutely. thing is, so the thing is, what I learn is just like, you know, I just, you know, I just, I. In other words, and when someone's hitting you and you hit them back, that's called reaction. That's called yeah, reaction. Absolutely. But when you respond. You think everything through. Like if I go and hit this dude, you know, and like for instance, I'll tell you, I'll tell you all a story. Okay, it's off the violence tip, but I had these kids. Like I do Uber, right? That's one of my part-time hustles, right there. I do mm-hmm. that Uber shit. You know, I got stories for days. But in any event, <laughs> any event these little, these little shits. There's this, um, there's this community called Wellesley where people are pretty, pretty, uh, you know, to do with the money. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? They, they, they. It's a rich, rich, rich town. You know, so I went to pick these kids up, and they looked like they had to be no more than whatever in high school. You know, yep. so I just see one kid come out with his golf clubs, and he puts them in the back, and I was like, "Oh, you on the links all day, huh?" He's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "How'd you do?" He's like, "Oh, you know." Then I see like two kids coming out the house with two cases of beer, and again, they don't look much older than him, so. They, they put the shit in the back of my car, and they all get in, and there's like four of them. And, you know, I felt like I work another job as a bouncer. I felt like letting my bouncer side come out and say, okay, everybody show me some fucking ID right now. You know what I mean? And But instead of doing that, I said, I'm going to ask you all to, you know, to, to answer me fucking honestly right now. I said, With, how many of you in here are not 21? So then they, you know, and then they were like, well... No, we're not. And I said, all right, well, get your shit and get the fuck out of my car. Meaning, like, I don't need the money that bad, because think about it. Of course I want the money, but think about it. They're from a rich town, right? Daddy's probably got money. So if we get pinched, right, what are they going to do? Everybody's they're going to finger off. me. They're going to say, he bought me the bears. Yeah, they're going to okay. finger you, but everybody, finger everybody's going to get off, though. Yeah. Because they, yeah. they, they're not going to, they're not, nah, they're going to they're gonna get you off, too. No, but you get where I'm going. Though. No, I I, yeah. I feel you, bro. Yeah, I'm just like I'm not like I wasn't even gonna put myself in that position, or you know. But that's, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Respond, react, respond, think it through, and that's why I told him to get out. But we're gonna keep it a hundred, man. Like we got Shymeen in this bitch, man. Yeah. You know right. we doing our thing, man. That's right. Hey yo. That's right. I got, I got, I got. I just say right now, I just got off the phone with Tara. I know you're listening right now. Tara. So, hey, so the um, the kickball game was a success, but he said he can't walk. <laughs> but he can't walk. He can't walk. Tg, Tara, TG, yeah. TG you know, always. Man, Tara, man, Tara, you had a kickball game and I wasn't involved in that. I would have no. booted that shit out of the park. You serious? Yeah. 
Terror, yo, you don't so, stop. No, yo, Surrender Records. Surrender Records used to be right around the corner from me. I live out in Norwood. and they used to be right on the um, uh, the junction right there in Canton. So I remember, I remember that man, Terror, if you're listening, I remember that. So yeah, yeah. And the Wise Guys Project, I remember him on that too. Yeah, Wise Guys, last, huge yeah, last, thing. last huge. week, last week, you know, I woke up in Boston. He had a whole Wise Guys show. He just he, he like we we listened to the whole unreleased Wise Guys album. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. So if you go, is it new? It was. And they doing new it's, shit? It's, it's, it's unreleased, so I'm not sure if it's new or... I mean, it's the newest. How's that? Yeah, okay. Oh, well, yeah, it's new. Oh, word. Yeah, so you can um, you can go on Last Week, Welcome to yeah, Boston. Yeah, because my homie Jimmy Marsh was part of that shit, too. I think he, he actually... He, actually he, he, he called in. He did? I, I'm pretty sure he did. Did Jimmy yeah. did? Yeah. yeah, nice. And a couple nice. other people did. Yeah, it was a uh, shit. They had, like, fucking... Nine people that called in. That was Wise, Go- the Wise Guy special and shit, man. Yeah, man. But yeah, it's time. We got to get out of here. We are sports hey, too, man. Hey, man, we really, really, it's been a long time since you. Yeah, you and me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were talking about yo, years. We were talking about New England love here, though. Right. But, like, and I was saying that's how you and me got connected. Was yeah. We was at a show somewhere. Yeah. I don't remember where, but um, we were at a show and, like, we connected and we stayed in touch over all these years. Despite not seeing each other, like right, you said, right, right, in right. fucking eons, but you know what? We here. Hey, that's what it we is. Here. We here. We still trip, at it. We still trip doing got it. The, trip got the hottest, hottest fucking station or the hottest show uh, uh, blazing right now, New England Connection. That's right. Every dude. Saturday at 8 o'clock. Yep. If, you need, if you have any fucking music, make sure that when you send it to one connection radio at gmail.com that your shit is mixed and mastered. Mixed. The nonsense. Mastered. Goddamn bullshit. Dude, we're going to play it. And we, we, you know what? We're going to play one song. Every week that if you guys send some fucking bullshit, you should know better. You love your music, yeah. make sure that it's good. We're gonna play it. And it's gonna be like the trash of the fucking week. Yeah, or something. Yeah. Don't do it. I'm just joking, but don't don't send your, your make sure that you love your art, you, you love what you're doing. Make sure that you t- you spend that extra dollar and that extra time to make sure it sounds quality. Yeah, please please do man. Invest in your music, man. Trust me when I say I'm behind you all day. Right. I'm backing you up. You know what I'm it is. supporting your music, I'm promoting it. Such and such, you know, like we, I really, I really want to put New England on the map. I want New England to be on the map because yes, of we do. Trip, you know what I'm saying? Yes, like, we do. I'm gonna be the first guy to step up and be like, "Yo, it's not about me." Let me come out here and put one of you guys on. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Let me hear one of you guys out on this radio station. Let the people hear who you are and where you're from and what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to do. That's right. So that's what right. we're going to do. It's going to happen. Trust and believe me when I say that. One of us is going to pop. Oh, yeah. One of us. And we're going to end it, though. And if one of us pops. Since he ain't here, we're going to put that grown woman woman on. You know what I'm saying? We're definitely going to get some champagne rod in there, you know? Oh, you know what I'm saying? We're we're, we're, going to get some cynical in there. Shout out to Cynical from Fall River, by the way, man. Go look so much sending your music out, you know. Support at OneConnectionRadio.com. Yeah. (laughs) And of course. Quiet. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is what we do, man. So, oneconnectionradio.com, New England Connection. This is who we are, Mr. Trip, man. This is who we are. If you make it and you spin it, if you own it or you win it, I'm just rocking with my grown women. Now, everybody want a bad chick. I'm just looking for a grown woman. Looking for a grown woman. She work harder than the average. I'm just rocking with my grown women. I'm just rocking with my grown women. I say stand up for the crowd. If you grow, scream it loud. I'm just rocking with my grown women. Rocking with my grown women. If you make it and you spend it, if you own it or you win it, I'm just rocking with my grown women. I'm rocking with my grown women. They act too bad. I tell them pretty women with class. Uh-huh. It's a level you pass before I look at your ass. When you was younger, it was cute. You 35 is who? Fix your appearance, baby. Upgrade on them shoes. Get them manis and them petties. Let me know when you ready. We rolling, strolling, baby. Keeping it steady. Adult, hey, with no bread and no ambition. You worthless like a new car with no transmission. Smooth move when you choose, boo. Great transition. And the move ain't to lose, boo. We love winning. And I move how I move. Why? I love spinning. You don't need me. You just like me, man. I love grown women. Now everybody want a bad chick. I'm just looking for a grown woman. Looking for a grown woman. She work harder than the average. I'm just rocking with my grown women. I'm just rocking with my grown women. I say stand up, move the crowd. If you grown, scream it loud. I'm just rocking with my grown women. Rocking with my grown women. If you make it and you spend it. If you own it or you win it, I'm just rocking with my grown women. Rocking with my grown women. They ask who grown. I say the ones that take care of home. How you never got your kids always screaming you grown? You got your loud pack and bottle girl all in your zone. All that burden on them other folks, you know that you wrong. But-
But in any case, the option today, what do you pick? What is it? it really ain't that hard of an option, so make it quick. Full sail ahead if you mean it and really want it. Ain't nothing in your way, baby girl, if you really want it. Uh, ain't nothing like your own man. That feeling when you know, man. And here's something to know, man. To deal with a grown woman, you gotta be a grown now, man. Everybody want a bad chick. I'm just looking for a grown woman. I'm looking for a grown woman. She work harder than the average. I'm just rocking with my grown women. I'm just rocking with my grown women. I say stand up for the crowd. If you grown, scream it loud. I'm just rocking with my grown women. Rocking with my grown women. If you make it and you spend it. If you own it or you win it. I'm just rocking with my grown women. I'm rocking with my grown women. Now she better than your average. Cause that woman a bad hula. Uh, now she better than your average. Cause that woman a bad hula. Uh. All my grown women, all my grown women, if you ain't here, put your hands up. I say, all my grown women, all my grown women, if you ain't here, put your hands up. Simple 
Philly Roads history, symphony sound blistering, rip through the sound dampening, flip through a crowd frantically spitting with wild energy, focus of fire, the flow is the fire for my enemies, derived from hate and oppression, my pen and paper combustion, explode all over production, now that's something, this right here for those who riding beside me, I gotta get mine to survive, I stay on my crime beat, best flow nigga, respect no nigga, so I throw my hood up, like my neck cold nigga, hey, yo, from NH to BK nigga, all day make a dollar out of my nigga, we don't play Go hard for the streets Spit the similar to rap Drop knowledge on the knives The fact that he's back From the projects of BK To L Ward and Queen City Ride for the crowd My nigga, come fuck with me The 6-0, stand up The East Coast is back In Brooklyn, stand up The East Coast is back Truth or dear, the truth is here. Telescope on the tripod, they're shooting flares. Blunted building with our dog, got troopers near. The truth is, I'm saving niggas, I'm too sincere. It's simple, either death or develop your mental. Don't demean it, you can smell the potential. Feel the presence, I'm felt in your small intestines. Like sore from the door, it's all connected, and I want more. Made for the mishaps, my rubbers get fat. Hey, to sit back, let the paper take us chit chat. This is chess on another level, another bevel. From the belly of the beast, I'm at the telly in the suite Puffing on some haze, playing deli with the meat Was sick of mama praying, I was heavy in the streets Baby mama playing on a celly with police And this is what that guy was trying to tell me, this is peace Hey yo, from NH to BK, nigga All day, make a dollar out of dime My nigga, we don't play Go hard for the streets, make the similar to rap Drop knowledge on the knives, the fact that he's back From the projects of BK to L Ward and Queen City Ride for the crowd, my nigga, come fuck with me The 6-0, stand up The East Coast is back And Brooklyn, stand up The East Coast is back Yeah, 